Hello everyone welcome back to how to hack. Today we are going to work with DVWA command injection practical session. Command injection is a vulnerability that allows an attacker to execute arbitrary operating system commands on the server that is running an application. This is an application which is used to ping a device. This application is intended to accept IP address of any machine and ping with that device. You can see when I provide an IP address 127.0.0.1 these application ping with that IP address. Let's us evaluate the code before beginning the practical. It is important that we should know why this vulnerability occurred. You can see variable name target is accepting IP address as input. The if statement is verifying the operating system. If the operating system is Windows it just add ping command in front of IP address and it execute. But if Linux they will add ping C4 to limit the echo packet to 4. You can see there is no other validation. Now I am providing an IP address to perform testing. You can see it works. Now we are adding a Linux command ls. You can see it works. We are able to see the content of the server OS. Now we can do something more interesting. Search for PHP reverse shell cheat sheet. You can find this reverse shell in GitHub. Copy the reverse shell. We have to make some changes in PHP reverse shell. By using the reverse shell we are going to connect with the server. So at first we have to find out IP address. Here I am using Linux and I found my IP. Next step is erase IP in command and we provide the machine IP to the reverse shell. Before we click submit we have to create a listener. Here we are using netcat listener so we use command ncl and vp and port number 4242. I missed to say we have to provide both IP address and port number in reverse shell. You can see here netcat got connection to the server. Now we can try all possible command and access all files in the machine. Now let's evaluate the medium level security source code. On analyzing the code I understood that security measures added to the code was its blacklisting and symbol and semicolon. 
Remember we entered Linux command after semicolon. Let's try semicolon as accepting or not. I am giving IP address as input and providing semicolon followed by Linux command ls. You can see that the input is not accepting. So let's try pipe symbol instead of semicolon. You can see it's working, it happened because there was not code written to block pipe symbol. We can continue with same exploit again. Now we can try hard level and command injection. Again we can evaluating the code. We can see black listing code of almost all symbols. But if look carefully you can see pipe symbol have a space in between.